yeah, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you this makeup look. It's like a perfect red lip makeup look. You can wear any dramatic, dark or bright color, color lipstick with this makeup. I think it's very neutral and very classic. Um, just kind of neutral eye and a basic queen's eyeliner. And if you want to learn how to uh, create this look, then keep on watching. So I started off with my eyeshadow base and that was Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm taking this blending brush and this really light and look eyeshadow colour and putting it into my crease and making it the transition colour. And for this I am using this large fluffy blending brush from Smashbox and that was in their limited edition holiday collection makeup kit. And now I'm going to be applying this slightly darker shade into the crease, just defining the crease a little bit more, still using that blending brush. Um, and I didn't show you the colour brush, I will list it down below with all the numbers of the eyeshadows and all the products I am using in this video. So just blending everything together. And now I am taking this large shader brush and that one is from e.l.f. and this Again, it's an in gloss colour. That one is really cr light, creamy, uh, creamy, um, almost white colour and I am applying it onto the eyelid, creating a slight cut crease effect. So now I am taking this MAC 224 brush and that one is a large blending brush again and I am using the darkest brown colour I have in this Inglot palette and applying it into the crease, blending everything together, defining the crease a little bit more. And now I'm just applying a little bit more of that brown, same dark colour and defining the crease a lot more and you're going to define the crease by applying multiple layers of the same dark colour and just blending everything together until you're happy with the outcome. Just blending it upwards onto the side. Now I'm taking the lightest colour that I used at the start, blending all of the colours together with the large fluffy brush that I used at the start of the video. So now I am taking this small blending brush and the same light colour that I use as a transition colour and applying it underneath my eye. Now I'm taking this pencil brush from MAC, that one is 209 or 219 I believe, and just same darkest brown colour and defining the lower lash line. And now I'm going to take the same brush, the same colour and just define the crease a little bit more. So just doing that on both sides. And now I'm taking the same MAC blending brush and just blending all of the colours together, the darkest colours with the lighter, lighter colours. So just blend, blend, blend until you're happy. to take the same small blending brush that I used earlier and I am just taking the eyeshadow nylon from MAC and just highlighting the inner corner of the eye. Nylon is literally the nicest highlight colour that you could use in your inner corner. I think that um, Tanya Burr from, uh, she used to be Pixie Tuo, she always uses that colour on in her inner corner as well. I am using the same colour there as well underneath my eyebrow as a highlight and now taking this matte creamy shadow from Inglot again putting it into my brow bone again and then light fluffy brush and blending all of the colours together 
my transition color and the highlight color together. I am taking my Inglot gel liner and that one is number 77 and the Smashbox eyeliner brush and now I'm going to line my, my upper lash line and as well create the small tiniest little ring at the end. So now I'm going to take my nude eyeliner from Roma and just line in my waterline. So now I've taken this lash comb and I am taking this um, bristle part of it and I've literally brushed out the excess eyeliner out of it. And now I am taking my lash accelerator um, mascara from Roma and just putting on a first layer of mascara I am then later on straight after gonna be putting on my Clinique um, volume impact mascara I believe it's a really good mascara from Clinique it's actually the first one I've tried and I've been really happy with it so straight away before the other mascara dries up I am using this Clinique mascara on top of it So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye, just putting on the Lash Accelerator Mascara first and then I'm gonna put on the Clinique Cream straight away. So now for the lips. So for lips I'm going to be using Riri Woo from the Rihanna's holiday. No, it was not the holiday. It was the fall collection from Rihanna. Um, and I am lining the lips with um, Cherry Lip Liner from MAC. It's a perfect match for Riri Woo, Ruby Woo and all the kind of 
blue toned red lipsticks it's actually my favorite lip liner as well I find that when you're putting on a red lip it's really important to define your lips with an eyeliner to really get give that perfect shape and also to prevent the bleeding of the lipstick outside your lip So as you can see I'm not very happy with the way I outline my lips so just keep working on it I find that you really have to make the line perfect if you really want to rock red lip um, and I'm just filling in the lower lip now and afterwards I'm going to fill in the whole lip with the same lip liner. It really helps to keep your lipstick on a lot longer when you fill in the whole lip. And now I'm filling in the whole lip and I'm trying to fix the upper part of the lip but then I ended up smudging some of that lip liner on top of my lid so just fixing that up. And now I'm going to apply the famous Ruby Woo on all over the lips and that's basically it. I am just going to start defining my face now with a bronzer. That one is the Sleek Contour Kit in color light and I am taking the bronzy part of it and just starting to define my cheeks. I usually just go into the underneath the cheekbones and um, just blending it upwards and then I am going to apply a little bit more onto my forehead. Again just random bits of bronzer all around the forehead wherever you the sun would naturally hit your face and then blending and blending and blending the bronzer into the skin just preventing any harsh lines there and now taking this really really old elf brush that one is in a terrible state but it works great for contouring the face especially the cheeks so I'm just using that and putting on more of that bronzer underneath the jaw line and now taking this large brush brush from Smashbox again and just blending and blending and blending that bronzer. And now I'm taking this MAC blusher, I was hoping you'd be able to see the colour, that one is peaches, it's really gorgeous peachy colour and just smiling and putting that on the apple of the, onto the apples of the cheek with the same blush brush from Smashbox. It's just a very neutral eye and the red lip as I said at the start of the video. If you like this video give it thumbs up, uh, like it um, and subscribe to my channel because I have plenty of new tutorials coming up in the future. So hope to see you next time. Bye!